Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the fourth video of Bank Reconciliation chapter and in the previous three videos we have seen the concept of Bank Reconciliation and also we have solved two problems which were based upon the first and the second scenario, right? We have seen the favorable balances, the positive balances, balance as per cash book, that was the first problem and then balance as per pass book, that was the second problem. We have seen how to prepare the bank reconciliation statement when favorable balances are given right we have seen everything so if you haven't watched those videos then please please watch those videos first and also the concept video okay so that you can understand and go sequentially all right so now in this video what we are going to do is in this video we are going to prepare the bank reconciliation statement when overdraft as per cash book is given when the unfavorable balance is given according to the cash book when negative balance is given okay you can also say this as credit balance as per cash book is given when this balance is given how to prepare the bank reconciliation statement that is what we are going to see all right so here is the question so now let's start now before solving the problem let us have a brief idea what is meant by overdraft see overdraft is nothing but a simple loan arrangement that is provided by the bank to its current account holders all right so now let's say this business has a current account and let's say in that account they have no money they have zero balance in that account their available balance is zero now let's say this business is in need of money now what this business can do is this business can go to the atm and it can withdraw ten thousand rupees and let's say it did all right and they can do that why because they have got the overdraft facility from the bank they can withdraw more than what they are supposed to right even if they have zero balance in their account now what happens is when they withdraw 10,000 rupees immediately their balance in the bank account will become minus 10,000 it will become minus 10,000 because they have withdrawn more than what they are supposed to so this is called as unfavorable balance okay this is what is meant by overdraft withdrawing more than what they are supposed to and then their balance will become negative it will become unfavorable or you can also say according to the bank this is called as what debit balance and according to the business according to the cash book this is called as credit balance okay now let's understand that now you have got the idea right about the overdraft now let's see see the sites see according to the cash book they can also say the unfavorable balance as credit balance all right credit balance and according to the passbook the unfavorable balance can also be said as debit balance fine so now in the question now here they have specifically mentioned that the bank overdraft as per cash book now they can also say the credit balance as per cash book okay the question can be twisted so you must understand the meaning of the words and their logic fine so according to the cash book credit balance is the unfavorable balance and according to the passbook debit balance is the is the unfavorable balance fine okay then i want to make one more thing clear see now your teacher right and in your ncrt books what will happen is there they have used this plus minus representation okay to do the brs they have used this format now you can use this format but when it comes to overdraft when it comes to overdraft overdraft as per passbook and also overdraft as per cash book what happens is these are negative balances you see this these are negative balances so now what will happen they will take the overdraft directly in the negative column okay and it will be in negative form so now what will happen this is already negative balance is already negative so everything you have to do opposite everything you have to do opposite so when it comes to balances per cash book and balances per passbook it's easy to do this way all right it's easy but when it comes to overdraft it becomes very very confusing because whatever needs to be added you have to do opposite you have to subtract and whatever that needs to be subtracted you have to add okay you have to do everything opposite so i would not recommend you people to go with this method okay i will recommend you to stick with that scenario method which we are using first we have to add everything and then less everything okay use that method only because this is very very confusing okay so to avoid this confusion please please don't go with this method and go with the method which we are going to discuss now okay now in most of the book this method will be there all right so just ignore that and go with the method which i'm saying all right okay 
Now let's see how to not get confused and messed up while preparing the BRS when the question is based upon the bank overdraft or unfavorable balances given. See the simple thing that you need to do is you need to stick to the scenarios. We have already discussed the scenarios right from the past three videos. Yes. So you have to stick to the scenarios. There are only two scenarios as I have been saying earlier one and two right and whenever you have been given overdraft as per passbook what you need to do is the simple thing is you have to assume that you have been given the favorable balance balance as per cash book what i said the simple funda if you have been given overdraft as per passbook then you have to think you have been given balance as per cash book and if you have been given overdraft as per cash book then you have to assume you have been given balance as per passbook see this this is what you have to do right what we say man ke chalo hum man ke chalenge all right so this is what you need to do you have to assume you have been given favorable balances and then do it accordingly what we did in the last two videos it's so simple what we did see here's the technique scenarios then identify the transaction recording effect what has happened right and then match up now how we did the match up see if it was first scenario then we moved only the cb finger right to match up and if the second scenario then we moved only the sorry the passbook finger right so this is what we are going to think we are going to assume if we are given overdraft as per pb we are going to assume we have been given balance as per cash book right and if we are given overdraft as per cash book then we are going to assume we have been given balance as per passbook all right so you have to just change the book okay you have to just change the book and then everything is same if it is first scenario move only cb if it is second scenario move only pb now we are going to see this practically now let's solve the problem you understood right now we have got the second scenario and overdraft as per cb so we have to assume it is balanced as per passbook and then do the match up with the passbook finger to make the changes all right now i will recommend you to see the whole technique and everything please watch the previous three videos or just the concept video to understand okay right so now let's solve the problem now let's solve the problem see here's the question from the following particulars ascertain the balance that would appear in the bank passbook on 31st december 2019 so here we have to find out the balance according to the passbook on 31st december 2019 now let's start see the first thing they have said the bank overdraft as per cash book was rupees 6340 so they have given us overdraft as per cash book fine this is the second scenario in second scenario what we do we move only the passbook finger to do the match up and here we are going to assume that we have been given the balance as per passbook we have been given favorable balance and then we are going to start see the first transaction is interest on overdraft is entered in passbook pb means passbook interest on overdraft is entered in passbook let's understand this fast see now the bank what the bank did bank charged some interest on overdraft now due to this what happened due to this we are thinking about favorable balance all right we are thinking about favorable balance okay so now what happens when the interest is charged the bank balance according to the passbook will be reduced right but the business doesn't know that interest has been charged they will come to know about it later when they see the bank statement so the bank balance according to the passbook will be reduced but not the cash book no entry has been made in the cash book why because the business accountant doesn't know that they have been charged interest fine so now the cash book will remain the same now i have told you we are we are assuming that this is the balance per passbook and we will move only the pb finger to match up so now what has happened see this we can only move the passbook finger so what are we going to do we are going to add we are going to increase the passbook all right so this transaction will be added this is the first transaction right so the first transaction will be added fine so first you have to do the rough work and then the statement fine okay so this transaction will be added and then the second transaction is see here bank charges are debited in the passbook only let's understand this see here bank charges means you know this is a payment right this is a deduction of money right so bank charges due to this bank balance decreases and here debited debited means reduced in the passbook according to the passbook debited means decrease fine so now let's understand this bank charges debited in the passbook only so here what happened bank deducted some charges fine so due to this bank balance according to the passbook fell right it fell and then what happened in the cash book there was no entry because the accountant of the business doesn't know that they have been 
charged some charges fine so the cash book stays the same it remain the same but the bank balance according to the passbook has been decreased now to do the match of what we have to do we cannot move the cash book we can only move the passbook so what are we going to do we are going to increase the passbook to match it up with the cash book fine we are going to increase the passbook to match it up with the cash book all right fine so this transaction will also be added second transaction will also be added fine it was not recorded in the cash book at first they were equal it was not recorded in the cash book it was recorded in the passbook now due to this due to this uh, bank charges the bank balance decreases bank balance decrease now to match up we have to increase the passbook that is the logic right fine so now this second transaction will be added and then the third transaction is check issued but not cashed now see the other meaning of this transaction is check issued now till here you know this is a payment but not cash means not presented for payment okay not presented for payment so now what happened check issued means payment we have made a payment to the supplier for example so what will the business do what will the accountant of business do he will immediately record in the cash book that our bank balance has been decreased our bank balance has been decreased this is the effect i'm talking about what has happened right not match up so this is what has happened the accountant has decreased the cash book balance okay the bank balance according to the cash book it has been decreased but the supplier didn't go to bank if he didn't go to bank then no entry has been made in the bank because the bank balance is same he has not presented the check the check has not been collected or cleared so the bank balance according to the passbook is same no entry in the passbook so now what are we going to do to match it up we can only change the pb finger right so we are going to decrease the passbook to match it up with the cash book all right we are going to decrease the passbook to match it up with the cash book all right we are going to decrease the passbook fine understood so this transaction the third transaction will be subtracted you understood right fine and then what happened and then the fourth transaction check paid into bank but not cleared check paid into bank but not cleared see let's understand this transaction first see here check paid into bank but not cleared now the other meaning of this transaction is check paid into bank means deposited check has been deposited into bank now i have already told you deposited means we are first receiving the check we are receiving the check from the customer fine we are receiving the check and then the business is depositing the check with the bank fine so when the check is received with the business immediately the business accountant what he will do he will record that in the cash book our bank balance has been increased right and then when he deposited but the bank did not clear it it takes 3 to 4 days usually to clear the check right and then the amount to be appear or the amount to be added into our account so now what happened the check was not cleared and no entry was made in the bank so the passbook remained the same no change in the passbook so now what are we going to do this is the effect it was recorded in the cash book the received so bank balance increased according to the cash book but not in the passbook why check was not cleared no entry was made right so now what are we going to do we can only make changes in the passbook finger so we are going to increase the passbook to match it up with the cash book okay we are going to increase the passbook to match it up with the cash book so this transaction this is the fourth transaction this fourth transaction will be added this fourth transaction will be added fine simple right okay and then we have got the last transaction that is interest on investment collected by the bank and credited in the passbook now you see this interest on investment now we invest in something then we are receiving the interest keep that in mind this is a receipt okay this is what this is a receipt so interest and dividends now dividend can also come in your exams okay so interest and dividends collected by bank so what happens is bank will receive the interest directly in the account all right the interest will be directly received in the account now what happened here interest was directly received into the account of the the business right so immediately what the bank did it recorded the entry and the passbook balance increased but the business doesn't know that they have received the interest until and unless they see the bank statement after seeing the bank statement only the business accountant and everybody will come to know that they have received the interest on so on so date fine so now till that no entry will be made in the cash book so the cash book balance will remain the same so now what are we going to do to match up with the cash book this is the passbook right so what are we going to do we are going to decrease the passbook we are going to decrease the passbook to match it up with the cash book fine we are going to decrease the passbook to match it up with the cash book simple so this transaction will be it will be subtracted it will be less fine which is this fifth transaction so fifth transaction will be subtracted simple right 
it's so easy you just have to see what is happening the effect right and then you have to move only the passbook finger to do the matchup for example if the cash book has fallen then you have to make changes in the passbook to match it up with the cash book that is what you have to do simple right you understood okay so then let's see the statement of bank reconciliation fine now here is the bank reconciliation statement first thing that you need to do is you need to write the date as on 31st december 2019 as given in the question and then as you know there are three columns here particulars column and an inner column and an outer column and then you need to write the balance balance as per the question now here in this question we have been given the unfavorable balance as per cash book that is overdraft as per cash book 6340 so take that okay overdraft as per cash book 6340 and then what you need to do and then you need to go on adding what needs to be added according to your rough work according to your rough work here you can see first second and fourth you have to add first second and fourth all right that is 160 30 and 2170 so let's add that okay 160 plus 30 plus 2170 fine so you get 2360 the sum of these three you have to take it out right so i took it out and then you need to add it with the 6340 so plus 6340 okay so you get 8700 right now this is not your final answer now you need to go on subtracting what needs to be subtracted that is the third and fifth transaction according to the rough work fine so that is 1168 and 1200 so let's take the sum of these two outside first right so 1168 plus 1200 that is equal to 2368 right so i took that out and then you need to subtract this from 8700 okay so 8700 minus 2368 you get 6332 this is the unfavorable balance as per the passbook overdraft as per passbook fine now this is very simple right yes now i want to make one more thing very clear to you see now first we started off with the overdraft as per cash book right overdraft as per cash book and then we arrived at overdraft as per passbook what changed only the book change from here cash book we arrived at passbook fine and overdraft remain the same here also overdraft here also overdraft now let's say for example you start off with the overdraft as per cash book fine you start off with the overdraft as per cash book and then let's say let's say for an instance what happened was you got answer in minus minus 6332 then what will happen then immediately you should understand that this is not overdraft this is balance as per passbook this is what balance as per passbook why 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 is that because see what i'm saying is this cash book will ch change into passbook as usual but this overdraft will not remain same as overdraft if this is in minus overdraft will become balance as per passbook we will arrive at favorable balance why is that see the reason is we are giving positive to overdraft and if we get answer also in positive then it is overdraft but if we if we get negative if we get negative then that is opposite to here right it is opposite to here so it is balance as per passbook okay just keep this in mind all right now you will understand this as you go on solving more and more advanced problems all right so this is what you need to keep in mind that if you start off with the positive balance and it is overdraft and if you get negative answer then it is balance all right it is balance it is favorable balance fine okay so now understood right it's very simple 